Hey there, hey, hey. How are you feeling this Wednesday? Listen, it's March. It's literally going to be 50 degrees here in Chicago, but we are broadcasting live from our 2112 Comcast Business Studio. It's a startup studio for entrepreneurs like yourself to come in and record a mini commercial, testimonial, or pitch for the funds or whatever resources you need to offer it to you. I am Claudia Davis, the director of the Center for Creative Entrepreneurship, and it is, of course, my joy and pleasure to come to you today live for this 10-minute bite-sized consumable insight with the director of Ally Community Bank, um, Rowan Richards. But before we get started and bring him up, I've got to tell you, I want to highlight and shout out a local business here in Chicago, Brown Sugar Bakery. Yes, I had the pleasure of going by there last night. They are on 76th Street, down in the south side. Oh my gosh, it's a fight. I recommend that you support. Hmm. Local businesses, because what we're talking about today is how to support local businesses. And when I tell you that there is a red velvet cake in my near future, please support our local businesses. Again, this is from Brown Sugar Bakery down on 76th Street. The city has an initiative in West Southwest. And you know, there's a lot of businesses that need micro lending, that need capital infusion, which brings us to later today, three o'clock, go to our website, log on to our events page, and sign up for In Focus, Founders and VC. We are hosting today both in person here at 2112 and virtually a conversation, right? A round table. Something to get individuals involved in understanding how founders who are VC ready or near VC ready who need pre to have a conversation and focus on what those requirements are, what their accountability is. And that's going to help us, um, those venture capitalists and organizations like the Center for Creative Entrepreneurship better create a matching tool with Get Cities and our partners who are sponsoring that event. Um, so be sure to log on or join us here personally. We will be socially distancing. There's limited seating due to COVID compliance. Uh, but let's get started. The clock starts after Rowan Richards tells us who he is. So come on in, Rowan. How are you today? I am doing well. Thank you for having me. Good. Thank you so much for being here. So this is how it works. You're going to talk to us a little bit about who you are. It's important for our entrepreneurs to understand and see themselves in you or maybe some of the shared experiences that you've had. And then once you start talking about the company, right, and how micro lending works and all of that, that's when the 10 minutes begins. So let's go. All right. Sounds great. Yeah. So uh, my name is Rowan Richards. Um, I am the director of community business with Allies for Community Business. Uh, many uh, may be aware and others may not be that we recently had a, a rebranding as an organization formerly known as Axion uh, for 26 years serving the Chicagoland area. So um, as a newly branded, recently relaunched organization, we are still just working to bring that same impact uh, that we had in the past. I've been with the organization for about three and a half years. And um, you know, I've had an interesting path to get here. And my original uh, career path was in sports, played, played uh, minor league baseball for about four and a half years, then worked in the organization. Um, but then I've been into the Chicago area for about 15 years, started off in the futures market, did that for 10 years. But in a parallel life, I was very much just engaged in community economics, uh, thinking of ways to bring uh, business acumen and business practices to be a deliverer of uh, wealth and opportunities in different neighborhoods and had some had some work in what was then Cabrini Green neighborhood and eventually Humble Park, uh, been part of some several startups and some nonprofits, um, but all throughout 
my personal career, I've been interested in entrepreneurship, small business as an absolute driver uh, for helping to develop and nurture um, just wealth and opportunities in the different communities. And Chicago is just such an amazing place to be doing that work. Yeah. So it's my understanding also that maybe you created a recording studio at one point. Uh, yes, it is. And I'm, I'm, I want to be careful how I talk about that and knowing all of your, your experience in that space. But <laughs> yes, one of the projects that we launched in, you know, while we were in the Humble Park area was to open up a recording studio. It was a very small space, yeah. but it was it was driven by the desire of our community, of our customer. So, you know, I still use that as an example today because we created it because it was what our customer asked for. And when I'm working with small business, I'm like, listen to your customer, find out what they want and give it to them. I had zero experience in the music industry, love music, just like, you know, just like a lot of people that does not qualify me to start a studio or to, or to really try to help uh, manage the careers of aspiring artists, which is really what it, it came down to. Yeah, well, I just wanted to shout that out because that's where you intersect, right? It's not just finance, but that you did have this connection to what 2112 as a hub, we are a creative hub for creative entrepreneurs. And, and actually, um, if I may, um, you know, Heyman Kim and Manny were individuals that you knew who are members of 2112. So just showing that these yeah, connective yeah. tissues work together. Let's talk about what you do for Allied Bank because this is really exciting. Yeah, absolutely. So, um, so as I mentioned, um, as of a month ago, we are now allies for community business. And our focus in, in large remains the same from what, as it has over the last 26 years. And it's really to support, support small businesses because we truly believe that it, that is one of the pillars for strengthening communities. Mm -hmm. So that's our vision to invest in individuals through capital coaching and connecting individuals with collaborative opportunities so that that business can grow and as a result, provide additional benefits within the community. So um, very much continuing that work and finding new ways to deliver, again, the capital, the coaching, and whenever possible, the collaborative opportunities to connect business owners with each other and connect business owners with new opportunities, whether that's through sales, new uh, contract manufacturing, mm -hmm. um, procurement opportunities, so a variety of things. So our, yeah, we're, we're, we're continuing to provide a lot of the same services that we have in the past, but just again, trying to find ways to enhance what we offer. Well, it looks here, I see capital loans and grants. So we're going to, the clock has started. We're about yeah. two to three minutes in. Let's go. <laughs> All right. So I'll, I'll, I'll go through each of the three main categories I mentioned. So for, for capital, we do. We provide loans and we provide grants. For our loans, which is what we are often known for and what we've been doing throughout the 25 years, those are term loans and uh, lines of credit. And the loans will range between $500 and $100,000 for businesses out across a variety of industries. So what we're looking to do is help support with that initial upfront startup costs, some of the working capital, capital to purchase assets, um, looking for, for capital to put towards a marketing budget and for capacity for a team. Mm -hmm. um, so a lot of businesses across different industries do um, apply uh, through our website for loans. And you know we've improved our, our loan platform this year through our relationship with LoanWell that makes it quicker, makes it easier uh, to get the application submitted. And you know, through this new technology, actually get to an answer quicker. Um, again, those, those loans range between $500 and $100,000, uh, re regardless of the, the business industry. A lot of it's going to be tied to um, your, your, your credit um, practices, your credit history. Really happy to say that we're no longer looking at credit score. So what we're, we're are, we are looking at a credit. Yeah, I know. Let's say it again. No longer looking at credit score. I know it's I'm something I'm very proud of. Okay. But we are absolutely. <laughs> I, I don't want to glance past that. Okay. I, I don't want to uh, give the perception that we're not interested in someone's credit report. We are still going to run a credit report. And the things that we're going to look for in the credit report are, you know, over like a 24 month period, has the individual been able to avoid bankruptcies or any sort of judgments that are $500 or more? During a 12 month period, um, has the individual been able to make consistent payments on at least one credit line? 
And then, you know, beyond that, looking at uh, what well, is a lot of facts, we're really looking at the cash flow as well, right? So let me pause for a second. We definitely want to make sure that the cash flow is, you know, in, in line to be able to support um, what that business owner is looking to do. Mm -hmm. uh, but one piece of that is also looking at the um, total lines of credit that a business owner has and making sure that there's still 25% available credit. So little transparency between, you know, behind what a, what a loan policy, loan process looks like. And we've listed all of that information on our website. So Good. we want to remove any sort of uncertainty, any gray area, fully transparent. This is our process. You know, it's not it's not coming down to any individual bias. It's based on a program and a plan that we have in place that's true for anybody who applies. Well, this is really fantastic. And for the sake of time, I just want to encourage anybody who's watching in this moment right now to please put in the chats any questions that you have. So we're going to keep it moving. You mentioned coaching um, and group coaching. Let's talk about it. Sure. We'll, we'll, we'll do group. Uh, start with group coaching. So our group coaching, um, our primary offering is something called the Neighborhood Entrepreneurship Lab. And that's what we consider our accelerator program. And what we do each year is invite businesses that are within our portfolio. So clients that we've worked with throughout throughout our time here in Chicago, we identify businesses that are ready. So businesses that are have done $100,000 in revenue and have been in existence for at least two years, mm -hmm. but also who have a desire to launch a new product or a new service. Mm -hmm. And we invite them to, to apply and we select. This year we have 20 businesses that have participated and we're on our fifth cohort. We invite them to participate in a nine-month program where we surround them with advisors, project strategists to help them think through and complete their milestones. They also receive a $20,000 grant and new relationships so that they can bring that idea uh, into existence at the end of the, end of the program. Okay. A lot of the work that we do prior to that is is really helping to identify businesses that are most ready. So a lot of our our one on one coaching, which starts from idea stage all mm -hmm. the way to launch and then the stability and then helping a business grow. And we have a, a list of, of 40 activities that we kind of pre prescribe uh, to make sure the businesses are most ready. Yeah. So we have a question here. Do yeah. your loans require a personal guarantor or are you looking at business credit history? We are, we are not looking at business credit history uh, per se. So we're not um, what we're looking at is a global. We're doing a global look at all credit and all cash flow. Right. So that's what we look at when we're doing uh, all of our, our loan analysis, our underwriting. Um, so, yes, we do look for that personal guarantee for the loans. Okay. Let's look at kitchen space. What's that? Yeah. So we're spoiled, right? So <laughs> we have this little project that's called the hatchery that opened in 2019 that happens to be our office, right? So our organization occupies about 25% of the building and many of our clients use that space. In the hatchery, we have shared kitchen space. We have 60, you should know this number, I think 65 private kitchens as well where people can graduate from shared kitchen, decide they're ready for their own private kitchen. And we have everything from caterers to bakers, um, to restaurant owners who may be using this as a secondary place, yes. um, to people who are doing packaged food as well. Um, so it's, it's, it's a remarkable space that's located in East Garfield Park, right at Kedzie and Lake. Uh, yeah. I'm really excited for that and just looking to invite more and more people to use the space, uh, whether it's for the kitchens or the you know large areas for events as well. That's great. Yes. Um, the hatchery is another is another incubator accelerator um, for the culinary industry and uh, very excited. They got a steep capital infusion from our former administration. I think it was around the notes of 34 million. But anyways, OK, so that's great. So procurement and licensing. Hmm. Yes. So these are both new. So I'll start with, with licensing. We're, we are now one of the regional business centers, uh, really an, an extension of City Hall where we'll be able to help businesses secure their business licenses. It's just a way to be an extension of City Hall within the neighborhood. Um, so really excited to be um, identified as one of those organizations that can provide that service. Say that uh, again. I, or, uh, it's a regional business center. Yeah. That's yeah, yeah. 
No, yeah, so that's that, yeah. new as as of uh, 2021. That's not something that we were prior. We would right. often help businesses think through that process, but eventually either point them towards the website or you know tell them, hey, you got to head downtown to get that done. Now they can actually do it within our physical space. Wow. Yeah. So pretty excited for that. And then for procurement, this has been an idea for a while and it's not a, it's for our organization. It's obviously not a new idea. There's been many organizations that have been doing excellent work uh, for, for a long time. And we just wanted to be a contributor to this, um, to this really longstanding project of connecting small businesses with contract opportunities that are provided through larger institutions in our area. So if you think about our hospitals, our banks, our universities, and other entities as well, who spend significant amounts of money on products and services, we wanna make sure that we prepare and then present as many businesses as possible for those opportunities. So it's, yeah. Um, quick question, does that align anywhere with the minority business enterprise, the MBE? Do you have to be a minority business supplier um, is that something that you address as well? It is something that we address. It is not a requirement for all opportunities, but it is for some. And mm -hmm. it is absolutely valuable to have. So one of the steps in our process is to make sure that businesses, if they haven't yet secured that certification, mm -hmm. uh, that they do. And whether that's to be a women business enterprise or minority business enterprise, we absolutely say, hey, look, we have the steps. We actually received some training last year from the WBDC, which was fantastic. So big shout out to them. They're amazing. Yeah. They're like, hey, let's, you know, we want to help others. They sort of took a whole train the trainer process. We raised our hand, said, yes, we're in. We can do that. We work with thousands of businesses. So it makes a lot of sense. So it's, as I mentioned, a very collaborative effort. There are lots of great organizations that are contributing their part to making sure that that spend doesn't miss the businesses that we serve. Um, so one last thing I'll say, um, Westside United collaborative effort of, you know, five healthcare um, organizations have really committed to this. So it's one of the groups that we are working with right now to connect more businesses with their spend for the next three years. So large numbers, huge opportunities. And it's one of the ways that we've identified that businesses can really take off. And um, it's, it's a variety of services and products that they're looking for. That's fantastic. So as you can see, um, thank you so much, Chantel Siobhan. Um, on your website, it states that you will loan up to 1.5 times the largest amount um, you have borrowed over 12 months. Does that include revolving credit installments or both? Yes, that would, that would involve both. So any line, every line that you've that you have um they're all considered and just so we're clear you know if there's a way for a business owner let's say your your largest line is ten thousand dollars right which means then fifteen thousand dollars would be the offer but you've decided it's like look that's not quite enough i need 20 to 25. well you'll still have an opportunity to work with somebody on our team yeah. to, to state the why so the uses of the capital and then support how you'll have enough capital, enough cash flow to make those payments along with all of your living expenses. So, you know, right. the initial offer you get doesn't mean it's the final answer. Great question, though. That's absolutely, it's one of the new features that we've added this year. Thank you so much. He says, got it. Thank you. So really, this is, this is, we're almost there. So is there anything else that we needed to cover? Oh, let's also, you know, I really love, Rowan, that um, we have this document in Spanish. So let's put that up. Um, and let's just hold it on the screen for a moment here awesome. as you finish up. That would be great. Yes. Um, absolutely something that we are, just want to continue to get better at. It's like, okay, we have to make sure that we're addressing the needs of our entire city. It's a massive city with so much diversity. And, you know, we want to make sure that we are able to uh, provide the same level of service for all of our business owners. That is absolutely a priority for us. That is fantastic. Thank you so much. Is there anything else we need to know? I mean, here's the thing. These are bite-sized consumable insights that in a short period of time could transform someone's life and their business. Um, I really like that you mentioned capital coaching um, and that scaling for capacity, meaning not only being able for people to create their business, but also to be able to hire and provide more jobs. 
shifts, right? It's it's so important. We understand that this is an ongoing process. It will not be just one small business loan. Um, it's not going to come down to just um, one one session of coaching. We want to walk with businesses throughout the, every cycle of, of their business life. So we're here. We're excited. We're always happy to work with, with individuals who either at the idea stage, existing business, or those who are in much more established stages within their business career. Well, I've got one more question. What is the percentage of your loans? 9% flat. So that's a, we were at between nine and 15 in the past this year, all loans are at 9%. Fantastic. And just on that note, gracias. De nada. <laughs> Thank you so much to Rowan Richards. Um, again, you can find his information here as we've um, noted. Um, and also please follow him on what looks like Facebook, Twitter, and um, we again, thank you so much for taking this moment out of your busy schedule. And we look forward to you getting out there and providing some more loans uh, for individuals in our community so that we can continue to grow our businesses and support and develop the creative economy. Thank you so much, Rowan, for taking this time with us today. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. It's you been a bet. pleasure. So this was really great, you guys. I mean, I, I mean, I, I who knew? You know, I had my I had my um, brown sugar bakery bites, and they're running their operations out of the hatchery. So I'm saying, you know, this is a great opportunity to definitely look at what your business needs. Check in with a business coach, and by all means, check in with Rowan Richards and Allied Community. Thanks. Um, but one thing I wanted to mention, I'm really excited and, and he addressed this, was that we created these bite-sized biz talks to address actual business owners and their request of us of the needs that they have. So one of the other needs was a minority business enterprise workshop. So right now we are identifying an organization that can come in and educate and train businesses through that application process, because we all know it's a pretty thick one and it can be quite intimidating. So we want to provide you with the education and the resources that you need for your continued business success. I am Sadia Davis, the director for the Center for Creative Entrepreneurship. I give a wholehearted thanks to the Coleman Foundation for their generous support. Arts Alliance Illinois as our fiscal sponsor and 2112 as our program lead and advisor. You guys get out there and make some great magic happen. Take care. Oh, and check in with us at three o'clock today if you'd like to find out how to get venture capital and learn the language behind VCs and how they work with founders. Enjoy this day. We've got a lot of good things for finance and funding. Stick with us. Talk to you soon.